plenty to come in this major day of strike action in Northern Ireland throughout the day on BBC News. Chris, thank you very much. 24 minutes past nine is the time. Never before seen images have been released of Colossus, the UK's secret code-breaking computer, which is credited with helping the Allies win World War II. They've been published to mark the 80th anniversary of the device's invention and shed new light on the piece of machinery that was kept a secret for six decades. Our reporter Tim Muffet has more. This is Colossus. This was the very first digital electronic computer. If World War II was won on the battlefield, it was shortened and made easier by work done here at Bletchley Park. It's where Nazi codes were cracked and countless allied lives saved. And where, 80 years ago today, Colossus arrived, ready to begin its vital work. It had a massive impact on the length of the war. Colossus was secret, and it was kept secret until about 1976. It wasn't formally acknowledged by UK intelligence services until the early 2000s. The original machines were dismantled or destroyed after the war, but Colossus has been painstakingly rebuilt at the National Museum of Computing at Bletchley Park. Colossus was not used to crack the Enigma code. That was done using a different machine called the Bomb, co-designed by Alan Turing. The role of Colossus was to help codebreakers understand messages being sent between Hitler and his generals. And those messages were using a different secret code called Lorenz. It was more sophisticated than Enigma which had been used to disguise lower-level messages sent amongst members of the German armed forces. Well, that's the encrypted message. In order to, to read that message, you need to find out the starting position of all 12 wheels that the operator set the Lorenz machine to. You have to look for patterns. These are the starting position of the wheels you're working on. That point, you can take the message and put it onto a machine, and that will decode it. The genesis of computing in, in the modern world um, could be attributed back to what was going on at Bletchley Park. We've been given rare access to the Cheltenham headquarters of GCHQ, the UK's intelligence, security and cyber agency. Today, it's releasing previously unseen photographs, as well as documents and letters about Colossus. In 1944, the material that we were getting off this cipher was gold dust. You know, all the German commanders, the senior generals, and the thoughts about um, moving divisions across Europe. It was a, a massive game changer for the Allies. The dawn of June the 6th comes up like thunder over the invasion coast. In the run-up to D-Day, the Allies have been trying to convince it that they might land somewhere other than Normandy, part de Calais, perhaps. This is it. They're on the beach. Colossus provided intelligence that showed Hitler had been duped and was unclear where or when the landings would be. That helped convince Allied commander General Eisenhower to go ahead. Have you heard of ChatGPT? No, I haven't. 100-year-old Betty Webb is a Bletchley Park veteran. Last year we filmed her as she interacted with artificial intelligence for the first time. So we're going to take that, that paragraph and we're going to translate it into German, which I think would have shortened quite a lot of the effort if we had it back in those days. Very fast indeed, amazing, I had no idea. And certainly GCHQ now is, has transformed massively with you know, the rise of AI and other technologies, but this is a really good example of how that started. Colossus was a groundbreaker and a lifesaver. An 80-year-old piece of technology that helped change history. Tim Muffet, BBC News. We've been celebrating, looking at the traditional high street this morning, because there's a big gallery um, of selected photos of high streets showing what the high street means to those who live in those communities. So